welcome you to part two of the uh, Donahue two-part uh, program featuring um, Minister Louis Farrakhan, who uh, at the end of our last program left an awful lot of uh, unhappy people in our audience. Not necessarily unhappy at anything he said, but unhappy because they had no time at all to say anything. So this is our attempt to give you an opportunity to express yourself and ask uh, Minister Farrakhan to respond. Whom did we mean? Yes, yes. Um, I would just like to say that I am terrified that even you, someone who's obviously educated, has given up hope completely. Like, when when you call upon us, you say white folk, you say black people, Jewish people. Why can't we come together? We obviously can come together. We just have to. We just have to find a way to do it. The desire is good, but the reality is the total opposite of your desire. And unfortunately, as a young lady, you are not in the position of power to make the decision to make America work. May I, you know, as, as an audience of intelligent people, I would like to just take a moment to say to you that I really don't think you fully understand what has happened to these people that you look at as second class or inferior citizens in this nation. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak and in this video which I wanted to make very clear on how I feel about certain people and what their agenda is and things like that. Of course people have mixed feelings about Louis Farrakhan about what about what type of person he is what's his, what's his agenda what's what what is he really about is he what he says he is or is he uh, two-faced is he a threat to humanity is he a threat to uh peace between all different types of races or maybe he's just misunderstood so everybody has their own what ifs or what, what if he's this and that kind of thing. It's my opinion that even though he seems very truthful, he, he seems very honest, he's very intelligent and very educated, and there's a lot of things that he said that I actually admire. I admire a great thing, uh, a great amount of things that he said. He does make some very good points about um, talking about the people in power that are corrupted <clears throat> and how this country has been, you know, distorted. How life, this, you know, how history lies, and things like that. He makes a lot of good points about corruption, especially corruption, which I strongly agree with. And of course, a lot of things that happen to his people, I can understand that. However, 
there's this little bit of um little bit of what I would call like I'm a little apprehensive about his agenda. He see, he's all because he also seems to me to be a very very angry man who's keeping it, you know, very cool, calm and collective. So he's not going to show that other side of him until he has enough power to show his true face or his other face, actually, to show his other self and then something bad could happen from that. He might try to have um, some kind of revenge agenda against white people. He might have um, some kind of revenge agenda against maybe certain bad people that um, deserves to go to prison and this and that, but then who knows if he could take it too far and then, and then violence can actually, can actually um, bring out from that. We obviously don't know what kind of thing could actually happen. And that kind of worries me in a sense. I mean, the man's brilliant. I mean, I mean, he, he does seem like a righteous guy. He, he really does. But at the same time, I'm a little bit weary of him. He may not be what he, what he claims to be. I could, I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm open to the possibility. I'm open to the possibility that I could be wrong. I admit to that. And if I am wrong, I would humbly apologize. It's not, it's not even, it's not even a problem. However, I, I, I still feel that there's some kind of hidden agenda. Again, it's not conclusive. It's more of a maybe or a what if. Uh, I hope that all those of you who support him are not too offended by this video. Because I'm just trying to make a point. You know, I'm there to speak. I, I dare to speak my mind about things that most people don't want to talk about. That's just how it is with, you know, with me. And there are certain things, even in that show dude, that I heard, that, that I recorded, you know, on, I can only do audio for right now. He said, um, when that girl was saying, why can't we just come together and, and just, you know, be united and, and, and you know, be civilized to each other kind of thing. And he was like saying, and his response was kind of, was kind of dumb. He says that, okay, your int the intention is good, which is true, but the reality is, is totally opposite, which is also true. But then he said something stupid by saying, you're not in the position of power to make America work. And you don't have to be in a position of power. The people are the power. And it doesn't matter what race you are. The people are the power. Not some politician, not some um, civil rights leader who, who has enormous amount of bodyguards and who, call, who calls the shots and this and that or, or whatever the case may be. It's, it's not about that. It's the actual people. It's what, it's what the people think. And of course, not, not everybody has, you know, not everybody's all, you know, mentally stable. You can have some real fucked up ideas and agendas. Obviously, I mean, that, that, that's very unfortunate, but not everybody's all messed up. I'm talking about the ones that are not messed up, the one, the, 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 the more civilized type people. The people who, who hate and despise violence and hatred and bigotry just as much as any any other race. So that lady, that, that young lady did have a point. And I think that, I think that he has some kind of hidden agenda. Hopefully I'm wrong, hopefully. But like I said before, I just don't really trust him. He is a great, he's a great, intelligent man. 
he does make some a very good points. Like I said before, I hate to repeat myself on that, <laughs> but he, um, I don't know. So I don't know how, how you feel about how you feel about it. So drop a comment in the comment section. Any questions or whatever, you know what to do and that kind of thing. And again, to all of you, take care.